What's up, everybody? Dwayne Bryant here with wagertalk.com with another edition of my MLB trend report. This one for Monday, August 7th. We are going to get right into it. And guys, as always, never make a bet based on any single trend, angle, or piece of information. Simply use these trends in addition to other handicapping factors in these games. And we are going to start out trend number one. Uh, we're going to look at Trevor Williams when his team is off a win. And we're going back to May 1st of last season. We'll hit the SDQL button. And you'll see that the over under is 11, 1, and 2. 11 overs, 1 under, 2 pushes. These games went over by an average of 2 runs per game. Very healthy 66% ROI. And you can see that this is active today. The Nationals on the road against the Phillies. So let's roll right on into trend number two. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And also hit the bell for notifications. I would greatly appreciate it. And for trend number two. We are going to look at the White Sox this season when they are off at least six straight road games. So sight streak is when you've had uh, multiple games in a row, either on the road or at home. Uh, this number designates how many games. A negative number means they were road games. If I took the negative away and it was just a six, that would mean home games. And again, less than actually means more than in this case. So we're looking at the White Sox this season when they are off at least six straight road games. And you can see that despite near even money average line plus 108, they are 1-12 and 12 this season, losing by more than two and a half runs per game when they are playing off at least six straight road games. This is active today with the White Sox at home against the Yankees. So let's keep it moving right into trend number three. And guys, if you haven't already, please hit the thumbs up to like this video. I would really appreciate that as well. For trend number three, we're going to go back to last season. And we're going to look at the Yankees' Garrett Cole. When he is facing a, uh, an opponent from the AL Central Division, so opponent's division equals AL Central, we'll hit the SDQL button, and you'll see that the Yankees are a perfect 15-0 and 0 straight up, winning by more than five runs per game, also 15-0 and 0 on the run line, covering that by more than three and a half runs per game, so the real the real benefit here is on the run line, as you see, your ROI for the run line is almost double that of the money line. Eighty six point eight percent ROI on the run line. Recommending a play on the Yankees today against the White Sox. So let's go right on into trend number four. And guys, if you have any questions on any. Uh, queries that you would like me to research on today's games, any situational aspects to today's games that you're wondering how that, you know, has played out in the past, drop that in the comments. Also, if you yourself have found any good trends or angles on today's games, drop those in the comments as well. I would love to see them. For trend number four, we're going to look at the Mets Kodai Senga this season against a national league opponent when his team is coming off a loss so this season kodai senga against a national league opponent when his team the mets are off a loss in their previous game we'll hit the sdql button and you can see that the over under is zero and eight no overs eight unders these games went under by over four runs per game and that's not easy to do to have a margin that big on an under that's pretty impressive you can see the average score here was mets 
opponents two and a half. Very nice 90.4% ROI on the under. And that is active today with Senga and the Mets at home against Drew Smiley and the Cubs. And we will then wrap it up with trend number five. And guys, just a reminder, we are into football season now. We've had the Hall of Fame game. My football special at dbbets.com is still up. I don't know for how long. I don't know when they're going to take it down, especially with the NFL preseason kicking into full gear this weekend. Um, it's a you pick the freebie special. You get to choose your freebie. And here is why you should choose me for your football plays this season. If we scroll down my page, you can see I was number one at Wager Talk in college football last season in all three metrics, profit, win percentage, and ROI. I was number one in the NFL profit two seasons ago and number one in the last two seasons combined in profit from NFL max bets, 5% plays. So while this lasts, and again, I don't know for how much longer they're going to keep this up, so I would do this now. Uh, you get to choose your freebie. So option one is you grab my college football season package and you can choose to get my entire NFL season through the Super Bowl absolutely free. Option number two, if you grab my college football season package, and again, I was number one across the board last season, you can choose to get the rest of my MLB season through the World Series absolutely free. And option number three, which gives you the biggest savings, is if you grab my college football and NFL season combo package at a discount, you will also get the rest of my MLB season absolutely free through the World Series. Now, if you purchase my college football season package, someone from Wager Talk's amazing customer service staff is going to reach out to see which freebie you choose, whether you want the entire NFL season for free or the rest of my MLB for free. If you purchase option three, the college football NFL season combo package, you will automatically be put into the system to receive the rest of my MLB season for free. And how you do that is on the right side of my page here at dbbets.com. You see where it says long-term and seasonal passes. Right under that, you'll see a header for football. You just click on the drop-down box, select which season you package you want. And the freebie will be tacked on from there. Again, this is a limited time. I don't know how long this is going to be available. So grab that now at dbbets.com. So for trend number five, and I feel like every trend I've done in this show is on this game, but we're going to do another one. We are going to look at the Yankees this season when they are coming off a game now, this says P-O, which is previous opponent. So lowercase p, lowercase o is previous opponent runs scored were greater than or equal to nine. So basically the Yankees this season, when they're off a game in which they allowed nine or more runs, you click the SDQL button and you'll see that the over and under is zero and nine, no overs, nine unders. These nine games stayed under by an average of nearly three runs per game, a very nice 93.3% ROI. And this is active today with the Yankees on the road against the White Sox. And that, my friends, is going to do it for today's edition of the MLB Trend Report. As always, guys, if you have any trends that you found that are awesome for today's games, drop them in the comments. We'd all love to see them. Uh, if you'd like me to look up anything on today's games, drop them in the comments, and I will look them up as soon as I can. And as always, we end with a good luck to you guys on all of your wagers today.